If you clicked on this video, you wanna know how to cut carrots and you wanna know how to cut carrots fast. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis and over the past 10 years, I've spent thousands of hours researching nutrition and applying it to my from scratch cooking. Today, I'm gonna to share five tips that are gonna teach you how to cut carrots like a professional chef. We've got our carrots rinsed, you can peel them if you like, and now they're ready to be cut. Tip number one is to use a high quality chef knife. Carrots are tough, so using a small knife just won't cut it. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> I made a cutting joke. I said cut it, because we're talking about cutting carrots. Okay, but seriously, a large chef knife is really the only way to quickly and effectively cut carrots because a large knife allows you to get more power into each cut, and a sharp knife ensures that you're not gonna work harder than you have to. My favorite knives, and the ones you'll see me using in about 90% of my videos, are from the brand Cutco. I've been extremely happy with my Cutco knives over the past few years, so I'm very excited that I finally get to feature them here. You'll hear more on Cutco at the end of the video. Tip number two is to pivot the knife on the cutting board. A wise man once said, Samurais wave knives in the air. Chefs keep them on the cutting board. We're not trying to kill anyone, so keep the front of the knife anchored to the board and just cut with the back inch or two of the blade. Keeping the knife in contact with the cutting board will significantly increase your control and enable you to cut faster with high accuracy. This is sloppy, this is safe. And speaking of safe, tip number three, use a safe grip. Apparently it takes the same amount of force to bite off a finger as it does to bite off a carrot. Uh, that's a very disturbing fact that I wish I didn't know, but I do, so now I'm traumatizing you as well. My point is that finger safety is super important for people who enjoy having them. The best way to keep your fingers safe is to keep them far away from the knife or actually in contact with the knife using what is known as a claw grip. Bend your knuckles toward the blade, use your fingertips to control the carrot, and keep your thumb out of the way. Using a claw grip in junction with our pivot method will keep you actually very safe and allow you to focus on speed. Tip number four is to start cutting on the large end of the carrot. The thick end of the carrot is a lot harder to cut than the thin end. So make sure to start on the thick end while you still have an easy way to balance and grip the carrot. Otherwise, you're gonna get to the end and it will be quite difficult to safely make even cuts for the last couple inches. And tip number five, practice a lot. Practice on getting the techniques right. Go slowly for the first few carrots, and then as you become more comfortable, you can increase your speed. And then after you've cut a few hundred carrots, you'll not only be pretty fast, you will literally be able to do it blindfolded. You're not gonna do it blindfolded. Duh, you never let me have any fun. So practice a lot. Start on the large end of the carrot, use a safe claw grip, pivot the knife on the cutting board, and use a high quality sharp chef knife. Which brings us to today's featured brand, Cutco Knives. I've been using Cutco Knives for about four years now, and let me tell you, man, are they nice. My real life actual friend, Cutco Dan, was the one who first introduced them to me. And since he did, I have not bought a single other knife brand. Because while most kitchen knives tend to dull after only a few uses, my Cutco Knives can go years without sharpening and still be pretty dang sharp, but wait, there's more. Cutco knives can safely go through the dishwasher without dulling or rusting. That's pretty crazy. At this point, you're probably thinking, dishwasher safe and stays sharp? This can't possibly get any better. Oh yes, it can. Cutco knives actually cost about half of what other professional knife brands sell at, which means that you can be like me and have your own professional quality chef knife for only $153. And that's not just $153 that you spend in hope you like it or hope you don't have to replace it. Because of course Cutco has a money back guarantee so you can try the knife out and see if you like it. But Cutco also has a forever guarantee. Let's say that 20 years from now, you break this knife. Well, Cutco will send you a new one. Okay, let's say 100 years from now, your great great grandchild breaks this knife. Cutco we'll send them a new one even without a receipt. So if you're ready to upgrade to a Cutco chef knife, just use the link in the description to go to Cutco Dan's website and purchase the seven inch Cutco Santoku chef knife. Thank you to Cutco for making amazing knives. Thank you to Cutco Dan for making all this possible. And thank you to you guys for checking out Cutco Dan's website. Well guys, if you've gotten value out of this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing for kitchen tools, nutritious cooking and healthy living. That's about it.